A relationship beyond your wildest dreams. I was alone again after three long-term relationships, which has, which have lasted far too long, and there was a constant struggle and complete emotional overwhelm. I have always felt that I was only me giving and giving, and the other one was taking and taking, and I never felt seen or cherished. And actually, I developed a cancer, and this was the point where I understood that I finally needed to see what was going on and be very curious about how I myself contributed to finish up in relationships where sooner or later I would be forced to leave for su survival, literal, <laughs> or at least emotional survival. There was such an emptiness in me, a frustration about what I had not achieved in my life, deep sadness and also depression and a lack of positive feelings. Life didn't make sense at all. It was useless and mediocre. Negative thoughts went through my head all the time. And I was really astonished to find out what kind of negative thoughts there were. I was constantly not good enough. Men out there, they were all, all taken or nobody would be strong enough to put up with me. And I am too fat and too old and nobody would love somebody like me. So, <laughs> you know, all these things which, which with which I was constantly putting myself down. I had done psychotherapy years before and it really had opened me to uh, more awareness about, about what was going in in myself. But it really didn't change completely my unhappiness, my feeling unsatisfied. It didn't change the inner negative discourse about myself being unworthy, being not good enough, and all these things. And you know, I believe that things don't happen just by chance. They happen at the right moment, and right people will come into your life, and they did in my life. First it was Claudio Naranjo, with whom I took courses five years long, courses on the Enneagram, and it was very revealing what structures I was living in. And then the next one, which really completed my transformation, was um, Claire and Catherine and the approach of feminine power and calling in the one. And this finally allowed me to come out of the space of impossibility and nothing was meant for me, life and good partnership was not meant for me, into a space of real unlimited possibility and curiosity about life and what would be in the future. And I understood the role I was playing in creating my life and creating, realizing, realizing my the dreams of my life. So I left my previous career as a singing teacher and a voice therapist, but by the time I was not really enthusiastic anymore after 20 years of doing it. And I took coaches trainings and uh, counseling training, uh, coaching of feminine power, calling in the one and others. And I began to work with clients one on one and I really was blown away how quickly they could change their lives and their inner attitude towards life and how quickly they could achieve results. Yeah. Uh, my transformation had started out of my deep desire to attract 
I mean, I didn't call it attract then, but to want a real life partner because I didn't want to be alone. And so I did all this transformation process, the curiosity about myself, what was in the way of realizing uh, my deep desire of a satisfying relationship. Four, finally, attracting this beautiful man I have now, where we are living in an evolutionary relationship, which is so different to all the relationships I ever had before. Incredibly different and satisfying and a constant source of joy and happiness. Yeah, and <laughs> my husband is saying to me, oh, how wonderful this situation it is with you. It is just so wonderful. And he's crying while saying that. And you know, I came here to this point where I could find the real partner of my life. And if I could do that, you can do it too. The only thing is you have to give up the thought that or the belief, better, that relationships come, fall out of the sky and just happen. You know, relationships really need to be cared for and much attention put on them. And this is also for attracting the partner of your life. Uh, the old story of Prince Charming standing in front of your door and asking you to marry him. This is just childish fantasies. <laughs> you know, this is no reason that you believe that you need to be chosen by somebody else. No. You have the power to choose what you want, what you really want in your life. You don't have just to take the first one who comes and wants you. No. You can look out and see if the people who you meet are the right people. You know, you can, with very definite criteria, you can find out if the person you have met just now is only a sexual attraction, which after a while we, everybody knows will be a little bit fading away and they need other values to come into the relationship to really be a good relationship. You can find out if this person is the person you are yearning for and the person with whom you can construct a really happy, satisfying relationship beyond your wildest dreams.